Hey guys, uh, I am Prince of Krypton, and I am here to bring you some Subnautica gameplay. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and do a new game for you guys. And <sighs> okay, so hey, um, so as you can see on the left near the bottom. I have chosen to not do survival, and I'll tell you why. It's because literally I do not care about. What's that over there? I literally do not care about having to. Fuck. Survive. Yeah, well, that's not what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to say. What I'm trying to say is. I don't care about you know what save Shamu right hey blackfish alright I'm not gonna eat fucking fish I don't have to deal with it I don't wanna have to deal with it I don't wanna have to deal with running around finding the water that's all around me but I can't drink it cause it's seawater and I don't care about and I don't care about trying to find food and grabbing these stupid fishies all I wanna care about is the important stuff which is Finding shit, making shit, swimming shit, stuff like that. that That's what I care about, okay? So, if you've never seen this game before, here it is. And it's pretty beautiful, I gotta say. It's one of, it's one of the... Detecting increased local radiation levels. Trend is consistent with yeah, we don't care about that. Open PDA tab? Why Continue do I have to open my PDA Aurora's tab? What, what, are you, what are you doing here? Okay, I don't care about that shit. Okay, lovely. Okay. Yeah, so Subnautica, in case you didn't know, it's, it's growing in popularity. It's still in um, alpha, I believe. But it's updated regularly. And it's already improved since I started playing it, uh, a f like, I don't know, a few weeks ago. What it is, is you, it's basically an underwater survival game where, you know, you look for stuff, you build stuff. It's a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun. I have a lot of fun playing it. I've put in quite a few hours. I got some quads. Some quads. Uh, yeah. And you just, you know, you swim around, as you can see, in this beautiful area uh ocean it's all ocean pretty much there are some land places but yeah for, for, I'd, I'd say it, over 90 percent of the map is i'd say over 95 percent of the map is just underwater and you go around and uh you could liken it to um hmm what can you liken it to i'm sure there are games like it but just not underwater it's supposed to be like stranded deep but I am never played Stranded Deep, so I can't say this for certain, but I think this is better. I think Stranded Deep looks a little more realistic, but I just, I love the art. And just wait till it gets to nighttime. Uh, and you're gonna, oh my god, this, is, this game is so beautiful. So beautiful. And so the idea is to gather salvage and stuff, uh, go to your ship, which is over here, which after I check, so I got some quartz, I got some... I can I can start making stuff, you know. I got I got stuff that I can make. I'm gonna start making it. So you go over here and you craft stuff. You know, you craft stuff to survive and you explore the ocean in order to find new things. And uh, at at the moment, there doesn't really seem to be a whole end game up, sir. What you looking at? There doesn't seem to be like a end game type of thing other than maybe just kind of discover as much stuff as you can you know make a nice base to the best of my you know to the best of my knowledge the closest there you can get to um, an end game type of goal is is get a sub that, that's pretty much I don't have a power cell and that's some gold which will come in use in later yeah I don't, I don't care uh I know Markiplier likes to call his computer Karen is a shout out to Karen from Spongebob Plankton's computer wife but I like to I like to pretty much call all of my 
female animat uh, AI type characters, Cortana, because I'm a fan of Microsoft. So I'm gonna call her Cortana, and that is who she is. She is Cortana, and she is my annoying computer wife. So here you have the fabricator, and in the fabricator you fabricate stuff. You take the raw materials that you had from exploring, and you turn them into more uh, refined th th thingies. Benzene, what the fuck is that? I don't know, but uh, that must be kind of new. And then from there, you use the now refined materials. Shut the fuck up, Diva. You use the refined materials, sorry. This is checking out my window. Uh, to make stuff, which is what I'm about to do. We can make some tools. Like right now, I need a scanner. So I need a battery. Shut up. Yeah, get the fuck out, Diva. Nobody likes you. So I actually have the materials needed for a battery, so I'm gonna make a battery. And yeah, so the idea is to slowly work your way up the technology tree from a sea glide, or as I will always call it, a slip and slide. I might maybe at occasionally call it a sea glide, but in reality, like 85% of the time, it's gonna be a slip and slide. So just know a sea glide, the, the thing that you hold like this, and brrr, we have them in real life. Uh, that's a slip and slide. It's a sea. It's actually called a sea glide, but I'm gonna call it a slip and slide because it's just it's easier for me to say that. Oh my god, I'm mean, so much. Oh. The next thing is a sea moth, which you need. Warning: local radiation readings exhibit characteristics consistent. Here we go. With you need a scanner in order to get a sea moth because you're gonna. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna go out there in a, in a minute. O2 tank. That's what you want. O2 tank will give you more oxygen, as you can see right here. It just increased my oxygen. Forget pipes. Now I want fins. So I need to go out. Ooh, it might be nighttime actually. So you know what? I'm gonna go out. Oh, I have to click. I was pressing E. Oh, it's not nighttime yet. Okay. Well. Fins, so as you can see, like as I'm doing this, I'm turning I'm going sideways. It's uh it's a slower process. I think just in general, fins speed up the swimming process in all respects. But especially going sideways, and I think backwards, it's just like uh I'm a, uh Okay. Keep in mind those things are dangerous. They're gonna open they're gonna open up and then they will those things in the middle, if you see them, that thing right there in the middle, that's like right at the little dot of my cursor, that thing will fly out, make some weird ass noises, and then it'll explode like in a timely fashion. Okay, so right here, this is my scanner, which is one of the newer things, and this is the sea moth fragment. So what it used to be is you would just find these fragments, and then you would put them in a fragment analyzer, which is something that you put like... Ten seconds of in your ship. Remaining. Oh, I'm used to having a lot more oxygen, so I'm I'm being negligent. Oh, let's watch the explosion. Has occurred in the Aurora's drive core. It's about to explode. The dark matter reactor will reach a supercritical state in T minus ten nine. I'm gonna analyze eight, the explosion seven, with six, science. Five. Analyze the explosion. Analyze the explosion. Analyze that. Oh, that was it. Yeah, so that's 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 the uh, ship that we crash landed. That we crashed and it landed in the water. Oh shit! Is that radiation? You know? Get, oh god. Oh dude, they like. Oh, this is new. They tainted the water for a little bit. That is very interesting. But yeah, so anyway, back to the fragment analyzer. So what you'd have to do is you'd have to find these here fragments. And then uh, you just pick them up. And then you put them in the fragment analyzer. And so long as you had one fragment, the fragment anal analyzer would do its thing. Uh, you could have up to four fragments in it. The fragments, the amount of fragments that you had, you need, it has to be the same kind of fragment. Okay, look at this. First up, like, look at that. Look at that. I'll get right back to it. But look at that. 
How beautiful is that? Like, look at those colors. Look at these. Look at that. Oh my gosh, man. This is a great looking game. Such a good, a good looking game. But yeah, so what they would do is you pick up the fragments, put it in the fragment analyzer. It had to be the same fragments. Like, you can't have, you know, four different fragments in there and then it would just... Actually, you know what? I never tried that, but I'm imagining that that's not how it works. And then, you know, over a period of time, the more of the same fragment you had in the fragment analyzer, the faster the fragment would be analyzed, the quicker you would get it. But, you know, it was usually like, if you only put one in, I mean, it was like a maybe five minute wait, something like that. Not a big deal. You could just go out, scavenge some shit. Ho, ho, ho. I'm yawning so much. Why am I yawning so much? And then you would, uh... I got the quat from my silicon aroba. So that I can get some fin. But yeah, so then, uh, not too long ago, they updated it. And now we have the scanner. And the scanner... It scans the fragment. It actually scans pretty much anything. Like, you can scan pretty much anything. What else do I want? I'm gonna need a radiation suit. You can scan pretty much... You can scan fish, you can scan plants, you can scan a whole bunch of shit. I'm gonna need a... Oh. Uh, uh. Okay, now that, that that call is done, let's get back into it. Should I totally forget it? Okay, so... As I was saying, before I was... I got a call from my mommy. Uh, I'm gonna need a welder. Because that is what... Oh, welder is what's gonna help me repair the ship. I'm gonna have to go to the ship. Habitat builder, that's what I need. That's what you need. You need that. You need that, and you need the mobile vehicle bay. You also need that. So yeah, so I'm, I'm gonna get those things. And I can't go to the ship without a radiation suit, but first and foremost, I want a slip and slide. And the way you get a slip and slide is like, you need lubricant, you know, I'm gonna go out and get it. I'm gonna go out and get it. Let's see, you have to go to the kelp forest, which is around here, I saw it somewhere. Which... I think it was in this direction. Yeah, okay, yeah. So you need lubricant, which you get from these little glowy seeds on the kelp. And yeah, it's just a... Well, this is just a really good game. You know? I really enjoy it. Oh, that's a stalker. They look scary. Because they are scary. Radiation detected. Shit, am I going towards... Oh, I'm going towards the ship. Shit. Yeah, you gotta watch out because in the beginning when you don't have a radiation suit and the sh you haven't fixed the ship, there's gonna be radiation and it will kill you. It will cure you. It'll, it'll fuck you up. So I gotta find another kelp forest, which I'm sure there's another one around here. There's always a kelp. There's always more than one kelp forest. But yeah, and be warned, even after you fix the ship unless you have your radiation suit on you will still get take health taken away for like three days so just watch out for that that doesn't look like you're gonna fuck with me oh my god he's just pooping him out okay well you might not have just seen is that hey stay away from me stay away from me, you bitch Hey, I need those teeth. Hey, stay away from me. Okay, well, I'll make sure I really point them out well. But when those guys pick things up, they tend to... What the fuck? Maybe we were having there. Maybe, like, they got complaints from Stalker Truth droppings or something because... You didn't go for me? These are all Stalker Teeth. And you need these for enameled class, which you need for something. Oh, I totally came here for lubricant. Yeah, so uh, the stock if you just follow stalkers and watch them pick up shit, usually they'll just drop, like, just teeth will just fall out from their face. You know what I mean? I'll just, can I? Alright, alright, so I got the clusters. It's time to go home and get some lube. And then I'm also going to look up what it takes to make a slip and slide, because I don't remember. Okay, guys, so I got, I got 
I got the lubricant, which, as you saw, I grabbed those little creep vine seeds, those glowy things. Then you come here, and you need two of them to make one lubricant. And so what I need to make a sea glide, right now you, it, oh. Okay, I guess when you make lubricant, it puts up the sea glide. Well, I didn't even have to look it up. Yeah, so you just need battery and copper wire. So what does it take to make copper wire? Copper ore. Okay. I'm going to put some of my stuff in storage, like all this titanium that I don't need right now. And I'm especially going to put this bad boy in there. I'm going to put that there. I don't care about the glass too much. Actually, I'll put it in there. And I'll put the quartz in there, too. Bam! Acid mushroom. <laughs> acid, bro. They combined acid and mushrooms. Diet, that's, the most that's probably the most potent hallucinogenic the world has ever seen. Okay, so I need copper wire, which means I need copper. So, what we're looking for are slightly discolored rock thingies jutting out from, like, you know, this kind of area. And when I find it, without going towards the ship, because I think that's what I was doing. Yeah, I was going towards the ship. Go this way. When I find some, I will show you it, and we will punch it together. Well, I'll punch it. Well, my character will punch it. Yeah, it'll be nice. It'll be nice. Okay. Okay, guys. Here it is. Here it is. So this is an example of where you might find copper ore or silver ore. And we got titanium. I don't want titanium. So you could find silver, copper, or gold in those rocks. And you can also find titanium. And, oh, I mistook it. There you... There we go. That noise you hear is of a manatee, but oh wow, look at that! This is like a herd of them. Ooh, a sea moth fragment. Usually in the spawn area, pretty much all. Shut the fuck up, Diva. All the fragments that you're gonna find are gonna be sea moth fragments. That's basically it. That's all you're gonna find because like that's the that's the that's the thing that you. Oh, I got the sea moth. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I picked up some while I was fishing for some lubricant. Picked up one or two of them, the, f the fragments, so... So I got one copper, ore, and now I'm going to go find another. You can find a lot of ores uh, in the seaweed forest, in the seaweed biome. Kelp, yeah, kelp forest, that's what they're called. Kelp forest. There you go. And so, they're not going to just be... You don't have to be too afraid of these stalkers. Like, don't let them hit you. But, yeah. So, you'll, you'll sometimes you'll see them on the ground. Sometimes you'll see them on ledges. You know, it's just a matter... Ooh, silver. I'm going to need silver. Uh, yeah, you always want to take silver. You always want to take gold if you can. It's just useful to have. Maybe not gold as much. Definitely Warning. silver. 30 seconds of oxygen Gosh, I need remaining. a rebreather. I need a rebreather. What is that? What is this? Stasis rifle? Oh, I don't fuck with those. I don't care about stasis rifles. Alright guys, so I made it back with all the materials that I should need. Uh, in order to make a battery, you, you need one copper ore and two acid mushrooms. Some two, two acid shrooms. Some two ash shrooms. Some two ash rooms, that's what we'll call them. And uh, those are super easy to find. I mean, they're super glowy, easy to find, no big deal. So we got some copper wire, which you need one of. You need one battery. And that's it. And I should, we should have... Oh, I need some titanium. I'm going to have to go into my storage real quick. Give him the silver. Take the titanium. Put the stock of tooth back in there. And I have the lubricant, so I should be able to make a sea glide. Woo! Yeah, and just so you know, you're gonna need, uh, in case you didn't realize, when you hover over it, yeah, you can see it. I just pointed at the screen, and you can't see where exactly I'm pointing. At the one through five, if you just hover your mouse over the thingy, whatever it is that you are hovering it over, usually some kind of item thing that you can use if you click a number you will assign it to that number hotkey so now 
I have a sea glide! Slip and slide, baby! And you can turn off this light by right clicking. And this is just a way faster way of getting around, and you can. Ooh, copper, sweet. You can, um, like, you know, what I just did break stuff, collect stuff while you're like this. So you don't even have to leave it. And when you're in a sea glide. Oh, shit, I'm moving towards the ship again. When you're in a sea glide, or when you're using the slip and slide, you don't really have to worry too much about anything because you're just fast enough to escape pretty much any creature out there. And you know what? With the creation of the sea glide, I'm going to go ahead and let's say I'm going to finish this this video with one other tidbit of information. In order to power a sea glide and most other most anything of yours that uses power because if you look here at near the you know above the little hotkey slots circles you can see energy 91 percent and when you move and when you use a light you're using up energy and once the energy gets down to zero you're gonna have to recharge it or replace the oh excuse me I don't know why I'm yelling so much mm. you're gonna have to replace the battery which means you have to have batteries so whenever you go out to like you know when you have your slip and slide and you're going out and you're gonna scavenge or something you're gonna wanna make sure that you have at least I always have two batteries like doesn't matter if I leave with 15% or if I leave with 100% you're gonna wanna have two batteries at least in your inventory at all times cause who knows who knows you know uh, which requires copper ore which you know you should always stockpile you should always stockpile it and so yeah, that is gonna bring this video to a close. I hope you enjoy. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful. You know, I didn't really get up to too much. I just kind of gathered some stuff, gave you some a, a little bit of useful tips, taught you how to get a slip and slide. Um, yeah. So, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a little thumbs up. Give me a like. Uh, I'd like to hear what you have to say about the video, about the game. So please comment. And, uh, below and if you enjoyed me playing this game uh, please please subscribe I would I would love it if you subscribe subscribe that'd be awesome I would greatly appreciate it and so with that I'm gonna go ahead and uh, head on off uh, yeah so you guys uh, have a good one have a good one